Okay. While I was uh, spending my four and a half odd months on Mir, I conducted various scientific experiments, some of which have come back in an unpowered state and are packed away. Uh, one of them is coming back in the powered mode of this experiment here, which is a bioreactor. We're striving to grow uh, human cell tissue in this uh, uh, reactor vessel, and these cells have been growing over the period of the last uh, four and a half months, and uh, they're still uh, in the growth cycle, and we're going to be bringing that back, and uh, the investigators will be examining it uh, uh, after we land. During my time on Mir, I not only had work time, but I also had a lot of recreation time, and for recreation, we had a lot of aids, one of which was uh, this here. And this, believe it or not, is a guitar. It's a guitar that coincidentally went up to Mir on the first docking mission and uh, is now coming back on the last. It's, a, it's an electroacoustic guitar and has provided some recreation for various crews on Mir. And I've used it uh, during the course of my stay, too, to uh, get a little bit of uh, relaxation time in while I was uh, serving my tour of duty on Mir. And with that, I'm going to pass it to uh, Valerie Reumann, who uh, also has something to say about guitars. Ключ символический и космическом пространстве и на МКС. 
We're going to need this for all the work that we have ahead of us, Talgot. This is great, and uh, the whole flight's been fantastic. The whole phase one has been fantastic. We're looking forward to working with you again. Thank you very much. Ну что, все, мы должны закрываться, к сожалению, на второй. Давай, забирай кнопку. Docking confirmed, Gory initiating a two-tenths of a foot per second opening rate through the firing of reaction control system jets. An American space shuttle departing the Russian space station Mir for the final time, three years after the first arrival of a shuttle to the Russian complex. Good agreement with agreement between the handheld laser and the TCS 37 feet about 0.2. Copy. Discovery almost 40 feet below the Mir space station. Gori uh, flying the orbiter. He will reach a point 240 feet below the Mir, where he will initiate a nose forward fly around of the station to pull up directly in front of uh, the Mir. Discovery is properly, properly aligned with runway 15, just 5,500 feet above the runway.
Creek Court beginning to flare up Discovery's nose. Gorey preparing to drop the landing gear. Gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Gory deploying the landing gear's main chute. Discovery now rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, bringing astronaut Andy Thomas home after four and a half months in space to complete the Shuttle Mir program. Next stop, the assembly of the International Space Station. On flight mode. 3,000. Speed break to 39. There's 2,000. Free flare, I'm the gear. Arms got a light. 200. 1,000. Shifting to electrostatic. the max, okay? Drifting right a little bit, you're correcting. 500, 4. Gear. Gear's coming. Slightly high on the ball bar and correcting. Gear down. 50, 245, 40, 240, 30 was 235. 20, 220, 15 was 220, 5 feet. Yay. Derotation. Waiting for the derotation. I see one and a half. One and a half, two. Here comes the shoot. Shoot. Back shoot. There's all the people. Welcome home, Discovery. Nice crosswind landing, Charlie. Congrats to you and your crew on a successful final shuttle flight to the Mir and a super job completing phase one. And Andy, they'll have your lasagna and Oreo cookie ice cream waiting when you get there. Thanks, Scott. We sure appreciate your hard work getting us home. It went really, really well, and uh, we're happy to see a great end to the phase one. Uh, we're very, very proud to be part of the, the concluding flight of the phase one program. And uh, as uh, symbolic of the successful conclusion of phase one, our crew did some thinking while we were on orbit about what we could pass as a baton from phase one to phase two, and we couldn't come up with one item. so. We thought about what phase one meant to us and what it'll mean to phase two, and we came up with three items. And so I'd like to present those three items to Mr. Golden at this point in time and thank him for all the support that he gave to our crews on orbit and this phase one program, the cooperation with the Russians, and in hopes that we can pass these to the first crews that go to the International Space Station, symbolically leading them with the lessons learned from phase one and constructing phase two International Space Station together. First, uh, I have the American flag. Uh, we're really proud of our country and all that it's done. This particular flag hung on the wall of the Mir for every single press event that was done by an American astronaut doing a long duration flight on the Mir, starting with Norm Thaggard. And Mr. Golden, it's our pleasure and our, with great pride that we present that to you, returning the American flag from Mir and sending it on to phase two. But there are a couple of other symbolic items also uh, that are important in terms of representing the lessons learned from phase one. Dan, I pulled it up now. First is, we're not going to be able to build a station without tools. We've learned that we have to work and continue to build and repair while we're on orbit. And I mentioned passing a baton from phase one to phase two. This even looks like a baton, but it's a spe very special tool. It's an EVA tool used by the Russians on the Mir, and most recently when they constructed and repaired the new roll engine that stands on the long boom on the space station. So with that, we pass the baton from phase one to phase two. And finally, when we do all the work on phase two in, in the International Space Station, we're gonna be collecting lots of data, and you gotta have a way to save your data. So we have an optical disk used to collect all the data from phase one on all the different science projects that we hope will continue to uh, bring us successful results in phase two on the International Space Station. So for the science baton, we pass a data disk to Mr. Golden, and thank you very much for supporting this program 
and making us all so successful. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Charlie. This is a wonderful, wonderful handover. It's not the end, it's just the start of a new phase. And as you were talking about it, I thought about the symbolism here. The flag of our country is hundreds of years old. This wrench is a space tool which is tens of years old. And this disc is new technology which is years old. So we go from hundreds to tens to single digits and I'd like to give this to Frank because these are going to be items that we're going to remember, but we're going to have new things happening. We're going to have robots that see and hear and speak and learn and touch. We're going to have real advanced biomed and biotech. We're going to have sensors that hopefully will explore the universe and find antimatter galaxies and dark matter. And this is all symbolic because we're moving ahead, we're not moving backwards. And it's also symbolic of the incredible change we've had in our world, where when we started out, we didn't know each other, and now we really know the Russians, and we know with certainty that we're going to open up the universe to benefit life on this planet. So Frank, here are the tools. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Golden. We will uh, take good care of these and put them to good use and uh, certainly pass them on to the crews that go to the ISS. To Charlie and all the crew and to Andy, congratulations on the successful completion of your mission and helping us finish phase one. This uh, is a happy and sad moment, as I'm sure you can imagine. It's uh, uh, wonderful to see it successfully complete. I am extremely happy that, that uh, we were able to do what we set out to do, which is to take seven Americans to the mirror and bring them home safely. But even better, we learned how to work better together in space. We're better prepared to operate the International Space Station. And we did what we said we were going to do. We will do what we say we're going to do in the future also. Only history will tell how successful we were. It takes a little while to digest all these things because they've happened so fast, the way the world has changed. But I think we'll see that this is the right way to go. And we'll go much, much further as we do it together. So to Charlie, Valeri, and the rest of the crew, Spasiba Bolshoi, don't forget the people that are still on orbit on the mirror. The research that's still going on, both phase one and other programs. We'll be watching very closely, and we'll be joining them with the International Space Station very soon. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Dom was on his first space flight. He did fly some combat missions in Operation Desert Storm, but this past 10 days in space, of course, I'm sure he saw a lifetime of interesting views from orbit, looking down on the Earth. Now visiting with NASA Administrator Dan Golden, 